the move. Back in 1982, um, my family, my dad, he, he worked for General Electric, man, so we had a big house and all the new stuff. We had a, a laser disc, the first one. The disc, the CDs were this big, stole, and my dad bought us a CD called Barbarella. I watched Barbarella every day, so this one day I came home from school, got to school and put in Barbarella. My dad was in Texas on some training. I'm watching Barbarella in the door. My cousin Mickey, he's at the door with Clayton. I'm like, what's up, guys? I looked at him, he looked fine. Nobody had been drinking. I could tell because they were they white, no, 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 no color over them. So they was like, hey, Randolph, yeah, I know your daddy's out of town, man. Hey, we want to, uh, let's have a party tonight. I said, woo-wee, all right, party at the house. Um, I was just excited to be around my cousins, man, and they wanted to hang out with me. So we, we went in, we came inside the house and they had a bunch of fruit, grapes, oranges, apples, I mean, baskets of them. And we all sat around the kitchen, cutting up these apples and putting them all in a big silver tub that we had. So we put them in the tub and I said, what's going on? So Mickey's like, just cut the deck. He was very, real aggressive, you know, so we, we cut these things up and we put them in the uh, tub, great big silver tub. And then uh, when we got all the fruit and everything cut up, he had like three big gallons of this liquor called Everclear. He poured all the Everclear in the, uh, in the tub with the fruit and uh, then some other friends came over. Then a few ladies came over. Next thing you know, I turned on my, my dad. We had a big, long TV with a stereo on the top of it. Big speakers. And it was bumping, man. And we had the whole house shaking. Everybody was, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. We didn't do much dancing when we were coming up. We just hung around and vibed to the music. We were in the basement. The music was upstairs. We had a speaker. Uh, plugged in my dad's guitar speaker was in the basement and upstairs so we're downstairs partying and everybody the girls were oh what y'all got there we was like oh we just got some fruit get you some fruit punch so they take a cup and get some fruit and eat the eat the grapes and the oranges and the apples and before you know it these girls are like crazy drunk and uh well because of where we live, a lot of the people's parents heard we were over party and they came and got them. And uh, Clayton, I think he had too many of those cherries and, and oranges. And I saw him, he was red all over. I said, oh. Now at the time, I was young, man. And, and after school, when I wasn't watching Barbarella, I would always... My dad always would buy me some weapons, man. He'd buy me a sword or a chainsaw or a shotgun. Or, well, one time he bought me some nunchucks. They were shorties, short nunchucks on a long chain. And I practiced with those things every day after I watched Barbarella, man. I, I would practice knocking flies off of uh, pine cones. I got real good at it, you know. I was really good with those nunchucks. But they were really small, little short. And I always kept them in my front. Everywhere I went, I kept those nunchucks. So I'm sitting here, and I'm in the party, you know, in my cup. We call it PJ. I'm drinking the PJ. I really, I'm really fired up, man. My head was throbbing. I could see, but it, you know, it was like many visions. I'm like, wow, I got the spirits on me. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having visions. I was really feeling good over in my corner. But then I saw Clayton walk by with a red spirit in front of him. I said, oh, oh God. Clayton's on the prowl. So Clayton walks up and comes up to me, and I'm like, hey, what's going on, Clayton? Hey, what's going on, cuz? What, what you doing? I said, oh, hell. I said, I, listen, you're not by yourself, Clayton. I see your buddy with you. I said, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, you better leave me alone. He said, what you gonna do, cuz? I said, Clayton, you better leave me alone. Now, he was much older than me, and I respected Clayton. He was my cousin, for Christ's sakes. Now, I've seen Clayton do some amazing things with them spirits. I mean, kind of bad, actually. 
when they cut the guy's ear off and you know i seen him mace some girls at, at, uh, at the powwow i mean clayton was when those spirits was on him they really took control anyway he pulls out his knife i'm like okay i see what this is so he pulls his knife back he's getting ready he's trying to cut the old boy i said okay that's good i knew which one of him it was like i said i had i was i had vision at the time like triple vision but i knew he was the one in the center i grabbed my nunchucks what bruce lee and i took those bad boys and whopped him right i hit him from the top of his forehead all the way across to his chin and knocked him out now he's wallowing around on the ground oh he said <laughs> I did not know you had them. And I'm like, Mickey, get Clayton at, you trying to, what you trying to do to Randolph? He's the host. Are you crazy? Get your ass out of here, Clayton. Because I did not know you had them. So he's, he got up, bent over. He couldn't quite pick his head up. I think he carried his head around for maybe two days because I really gave him all I had with that. You know, when you're young and you got the spirit with you like that, I had the good spirits, man. And I gave him a good lesson. I, and let me tell you, Clayton never eased up and approached me no more. That's the truth. But I, the story is, you better be careful who you drink with, especially PJ. Because PJ brings some spirits and they come quick. He said, I, I didn't know you had them. <laughs> Keep this in numb jugs, people. Deuces.